Hey guys, welcome back to Cry Clairvoyance. I am Lady Crybaby, the Empath Empress, also known as Empress Rapi. All right, so um, today, you know, we're here to do uh, a message and a reading on um, Annie, are you okay? All right, so all of you have been through heavy spiritual warfare, and I want you to know that I go out to my car uh, the other day, and somebody stole my license plate. Dale. Bring me my license plate back. You you just got a new car. How do I know? I saw you when I was taking my carpet outside, the old one that I'm throwing away, and you was driving past in your new white truck with the with the back up with the back of the truck out and some tags on there that looked like they came from the dealer or something. But I'm gonna tell you something. Bring me my plate back, boy. <laughs> You you ain't you you I, you know you had something wrong with you, but so y'all just no don't fret okay, it is what it is. But this person wants you to have a mind frame of who did that, who what you know freak out and be and so you know you can probably call somebody and they be like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? You feel me? So they want you on that panic mode. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Annie, Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, I don't know. 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 You feel me? They got you fucked up, though. So anyway, this is, you have been hit by, you have been struck by a smooth criminal. All right, you ready? I'm going to give you guys a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. And this is a commercial break. Like, uh, what's her name? Did y'all watch a lady name? I know her name. Her thing is Nep Nephilim Tarot. But commercial break. On this commercial break, we want to say, increase your daily intake of fiber. Eat more. It says legumes, beans, peas, lentils. Uh, ain't don't know that sound good. They are the richest source of dietary fiber. Uh, buy bread that lasts or lists whole grain as the fiber, or excuse me, as the first ingredient on the label with at least three grams of fiber per uh, three, uh, three grams of fiber per slice. Eat a lot of unpeeled fruits. Y'all hear that? Eat a lot of unpeeled fruits. In my last message. Why y'all that went blurry? I have no idea. Ooh. I'm not sure. Oh, the phone slid down. That's why I'm sorry. Terrible commercial break, ain't it? All right. So anyway, that's all y'all obviously needed to hear. So that's that commercial break. All right, guys, we're back. So for those of you who picked deck one, you are the ones who feel as though you have been hit by a smooth criminal. Now, when I say you've been hit, I don't mean physically hit. I mean you've been hit for something, like took for something, they stole something from you, not in spiritually, spiritual world. We, I mean something like, like these people are doing dumb stuff like since they couldn't get to you, you know, by, um, you know, put placing stuff around your home and doing all that crap that you know you done been through now they're trying to egg you by um like i said stealing the tag off my car and wanting you to freak out so that they can try to feed off that and pull from that but anyway first card uh did i shuffle this deck spirit okay first card to turn over for you is clouds mystic or mystical it's in reverse so you know who it is Ah, just like I said, Dale, just now to that guy who I know took my thing. You know who your person is that took yours. All right, so that's the card for the clouds or and this. Uh, um, that's where they want you. They want your head in the cloud. They want you to not know what's going on. Okay, I need to deal with this deck, y'all, but I gotta be light about it because that camera gonna probably mess around and flip or something. It's so easily agitated and shit. Be so. Oh, God damn. Okay, oh, they're observing your aura. That's how this smooth criminal, hit criminal person. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Oh, this person's in your aura. Okay, so, yeah. 
and it says ogum in nature. So this person is the same person who's coming to bother your nature. Your nature. This person is coming to get on your nerve and bother you. Like I said, Annie, are you okay? This person wants you crying. And your aura is a bunch of water. There's water that comes in. The, so in other words, there the air around you may be dry, but once you step out in it, you water. To the chosen one that I'm speaking to, you're water, okay, in this game. So anyway, yeah, they come and talk. That person is coming to observe your aura. They come and you know what they want to do? They want to. They trying to see how you feel, how you gonna act, how you if you gonna freak the fuck out, are you gonna split? Meaning that you know I me, mean? are you gonna ill out? And they in the clouds watching you. So whoever this is, they watching you. They know. That's what these clouds mean. It said clouds and mystical. Didn't I tell you? I started off saying they took something from you. They showing up at your door or nigga knocking or something. You know how you knock and leave or something goofy. These people is doing something to egg you on. But they trying to lead you to the police. But guess what? The police already know because these people have a community-wide, a statewide hex on some people. City-wide, rather. And then not only that, they have a media hex on you as well, um, like they do on me. So, and some of you people got stars attached to your energy. You need to watch TV. And the shit you saying on TV, you're going to hear that repeat. This person has, a, has, has watched you tremendously. Look at that. This person has watched you to the point of disgust. This is a predator. I'm not lying. This is in reverse. Uh, psychomet uh, psychometry, sensitivity, and, and a ring and all of that. That person is trying to strike your goal, okay, by putting a ring of Saturn around you. But you know what? It's going that way. You're not really on this person no more like that. You don't care. You don't want to marry that person no more. You know why? It says feathers. You've been getting too many messages, whoever you are. Good spiritual light messages. They heavy ass energy got to go. Look at them. Psychomancy, a heavy hand. What's in the middle of it? The middle of the palm. The palm goes to the top of your top of your head. Like I said, the clouds, the top of your head. You take this palm and place it on the top of your head. What you think you're gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get they gonna be on right on the top of your stuff. This person wants your gold and your money so bad to the sickening. I mean, I'm literally like, I really cannot take not another one of this person's. This person is sick, greedy on some goofy type of sick shit. You need to go down low and do all that shit for a fucking goddamn vehicle. This spiritual warfare shit done been going on now for going on at least three and a half to four years for some people. And you got your, that's what started your warfare. It was a goddamn car. Not just show, I know some of you think, but you know, I know my damn well, my beauty and my shit. It's, yeah, you are, well, guess what? You just that beautiful. And when you got your new car and then you had your little outfit on or your whatever you wore, these motherfuckers wanted to be that, better than a bitch. And guess what though? You was the one that was coming from down, coming up. You get what I'm saying? Somebody gave you a ride for a minute. Mind you though, mind you though. Mind you, though, this is a war. Like I said, and you was the one down for the minute, for a minute. Okay, you know why? But what happened is the reason why you 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 got you got feather ass messages that help you master this game. Okay, you have learned how to master this shit. And look, you mastering, uh, you know what I mean? You mastering your shaman, shaman or not shaman, but you mastering. I don't know why. Whoever is a sh something about shaman, y'all. I don't know. All right, but. You're mastering your um, your spiritual abilities. Look at you. All right? You you got palm, palm up to the air. Ain't that something? But you know what this person? This person think they got mastery over you. And they, they, they think they a master. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. This person think they're a master illusionist. Here we go with another palm. But it says, no, mastery. You see the palm up on this one and then the hand up. It says palmistry or interpretation. So you know what all the shit mean, like we said. So his Annie, are you okay? Um, okay, smooth criminal. Throw your collar up and do what's called a uh, moonwalk the fuck on. You heard me? This was called a moonwalk for a damn reason, you freak. With your collars up and low and all of that. But you know, get it in how you get it how you live. But see, you yourself though, you have mastered palmistry. You know that in the palm of your hand is your head. You know over here on criteria 
criteria, the light and at the pink and your pinky finger is Lord. You know that this is Satan. Satan, you see that ring right there? Satan need a ring on his on that's your ring finger. Satan need a ring there. Okay. You know that this is this says Saturn, but but it, over here is Miss Universe. Okay. That's what I know. And see, that's what the, where the effery come in there. Right here it says Jupiter, but this is actually Mother Nature. And then the thumb is Father Time. That's what you know. Damn what this card say. All right? You on Lady Cry Baby channel. One hug in. And guess what? You real. You know this is straight. You know you, you know this is gangster. You know that they, you know, just like I said, they put so much energy in the palm, in, the, in your pinky finger and around your uh, shoulders. These people, if this was a highway, then people done drove all up on the shoulders trying to cave you in. This was a straight up attack. You hear me? A spiritual one. And for you know, the body is called the chariot. They drove their cars all up on your shoulders, humped all over, did all kind of shit. These people spiritually attacked you, pulled that shit that you see on TV like they did Tupac now. They did that to you spiritually. It says dousing rods, seeker. See what I'm saying? Using using they they using the electro uh, electromagnetic magnetic fields, okay? Because it says lots. And I don't mean no goddamn parking lot, okay? You got a lot of sh you got a lot of shit that they want. And have you ever? This is really crazy, but I want somebody to imagine what is in my ass, because they want what's in your ass. Just like okay, you whoever this is on deck one, you've heard a term that says, um, "Well, shit, if they don't give it to me, and you 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 people know it. somebody I'm hearing is black and from the hood, and you have heard somebody say say shit, if they don't give it to you, take it out their ass." That's what this person is trying to do to you. And when they went down there, they figured you got a lot of shit. Okay? So this person was said, I'm going to take my chances at fucking hexing her and see where she at with it. And they trying to see whether or not you knew what symbols and signs and shit meant. You did. You just the type of person that, so this person ain't nowhere near a smooth criminal like he thinks. Boy, you was busted for, from the start, girl. Okay? And for some of y'all, this purple lighter is off to the side. This recommends that this recommends this uh, represents that evil witch that wants your shit. Like it did in the last reading. She up underneath these green leaves right here, by the way, whenever she get through. So anyway, anyway, with that be that being concerned, what they did was left you with a decision that you need to make. Like me, I got, this was the next card up. I got to go get a, another tag. Or they want to put you in a fear-based mind saying, okay, well, is she, are you going to drive with just one tag? Are you going to have to stay home? And once you have to, you know, it, it all de depends, you know what I mean, on how crystal clear your thoughts are. See that in your hand? So whoever this person is, listen here, you're busted. My spiritual spouse told me, for your information, because I asked him, I said, who took that tag off my car? And for your information, for some of you, all you need to do is call a person's name out that has been part of your spiritual warfare. Their energy is in your body. When something happens... Call that out and, and then call out what you think happened. Ask your spirit guys. Say, even if it's not your spiritual spouse like mine, just say, if you, if you want to know spiritual spouse, where are you at? I know mine is on my left shoulder leading up into my face. Okay, I mean, my, excuse me, my right shoulder leading up into my face. Somebody's evil masculine is on their left and they're trying to say that it's your um, masculine that's on your right. Well, my masculine is... A feminine masculine because I'm a more of a um, I'm not a masculine overture. I'm have I rock with my masculinity is my, like you know my uh, masculine side rocks first. I'm a female who when you see my face, you know how you see certain girls they look pretty or beautiful or cute in the face, and I don't talk like a man obviously, but at the same time I'm not one of them girly girls. You feel me? So it is what it is. But my masculine has a feminine, feminine, uh, you know, his um, feminine nature rocks first, which is exactly what I need. That's what I'm so thankful for the Lord. But what it is, is 
They wanted you to have to decide whether or not you're going to jump in your car, for example, for me, and drive the fuck off with one tag on the back. Then they're trying to say, okay, well, do you have money to get you another one? If not, how long that's going to happen? This and the third. Well, first of all, that ain't none of your business. Second of all, you like a grown-ass old motherfucker who need to quit stealing, you old goat. You think I don't know what an old goat mean? Okay? Before a goddamn me old goat became an old goat or a baphomet, they used to be a kid. You heard me? And kid is another word for a young goat, fool. Haven't you heard your mother or your grandmother or somebody around you say, he ain't nothing but an old goat? That's you, whether you think you're not or not. You still a lot of energy and trying to get into your kidneys. You drink too much too. You're going to be in your new car drinking like a son of a bitch, I bet. Yeah, if it got my name on it, don't worry about doing that too long up in that vehicle. You hear me? Because everything that's mine is coming back my way. And I have already affirmed all of that, which you have too, all right? So don't worry about making a wish and wishing upon a star to do something. And whoever done whatever to you, have the power. You see the purple in here. That's what this is about. You have that power. Don't split no wishbones or nothing. You right up here. So no matter if this get tore off and there's more on this side, what the fuck has that got to do with this part up here in the middle? That ain't going to be on one of your legs. You all of this. It ain't no pull nothing to fuck apart. That's the problem. They trying to tear you apart. But you live here. You see it's purple right there. This is a purple zone and it's purple down here. And that's gold in the middle. And he's trying to tear you apart to get your gold. Anyway, that's what being hit by means. All right, so that's for, for um, those of you who had um, deck one. Now, those of you been struck by, you've been struck. So that's more like lightning or something. And we're going to turn over your first card. Scorpio, it says, moon in Scorpio, transformation, a change in your emotional life. Okay, so whoever you are, you have been struck by actually the butterfly portion of that moon god. So you must have some type of, see the blue there and want your gold? This is not like one of those uh, monarch birds that got the, you know, purple, I mean purple. Yeah, well, it even, even purple. Purple is the color, obviously. The uh, monarch go who has like the, you know, the black and a kind of orangish red, like sacral e region red. No, this this person, uh, in sacral region, um, this person has your solar plexus. He struck your solar plexus, whoever you are, that in your throat. And if you really look close, you can see the Batman thing and then the moon. And this obviously, uh, this person has Scorpio energy. He tried to transform you. So when the person struck you, it says a change in your uh, emotional life. This person wanted you to be like that part of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. And I see one reader who said that, um, did somebody come and like sit outside her? They did some crazy shit to her outside her house. And she mentioned something about needing or getting or wanting to get a gun. And I'm like, um, this was your, uh, no, the clouds was y'all's on this one. I'm going to keep that up, okay? I'm going to put that back up for whoever. Somebody want to know, you know, keep the one up from the first one. And I'm going to go back and do that. Um, here's that one. That's from this one, okay? So, and it might fall. If it does, I'll go ahead and put it, sit it back up there or whatever. But anyway, yeah. So now this person wants you falling from cloud nine, okay? And then this person wanna um he wants to uh change your life in in the transform your life into uh you being without your gold and being without your uh, your throat. Those two are things obviously that's gonna get you where you need to be. In other words, like you're gonna be a speaker, a communicator, um a blogger is what I'm hearing, a writer, or like a, um, you can, you're going to be something. Okay. So this person struck you to try to make sure they change your life for the worse. Look at all these cards. Now that I said struck you. Didn't I say I get synchronicities and this, I'm talking about the whole everything feel down. Hold on. Shoot. I'm so sick of these motherfuckers. Like I don't really get it. Shoot. I mean, to go up under, you went all up underneath the clouds and went in God's territory fucking around on some real 
This is a Sagittarius. You are old evil for growth, trying to outdo you. You know what? It says success after a sale back. You sell, you sold out. No, they don't. <laughs> That's where everything fell. The bitch sold the soul. And now I want to grow back from that. Didn't I tell you you were struck? You was the one struck straight up. Okay. I wasn't really trying to do it, do it like that, but golly. Okay, so I'm going to say you've been struck. I mean, my goodness. I mean, I don't even know where your other regular. Okay, here it is. Oh, look at what. Whoever this is that tore up your house and all kind of shit with this spiritual warfare bullshit. Because this shit just fell all down. And, I, and the energy that I'm getting right now. It's just, God damn, I'm so sick of all this. You're not, you're, you are an orderly person. And this person wanted you to send you, this person sent you such a heavy fucking tower to, this is almost, I can barely, my chest is full. I ain't even nervous. And I pulled this thing with whatever this person tried to do. They have sent you so much. It's called, you were seeing that movie called Heat with Al Pacino. And Robert De Niro, they came to mob style. They mobbed you or something wicked. But it says they mobbed you for a new beginning that they ain't going to get. Okay. And that was an Aries person. This Aries also, it says a leap of faith. So that's what, what they thought they was going to get. A new beginning by taking your shit. That's in reverse, okay? It says, believe in yourself, okay? They believe their magic was, was going to really, really fuck you off. And they they was bold. I, whoever you are, you saying this is a bold-ass move these bitches made. Moon and Aries. This is an Aries. This person is a person that of stability. That's somebody around your house. Or your home, or you been knowing, you dirty mug. You got this mug twice, trying to believe in that they can take you. So this person feel like you challenged them for some reason. Something about you, your athletic nature, whoever this is, whoever you are, you was a former athlete. Do you hear me? This person sent you with some, uh, some heat. You know why they had to send your ass some heat? Because they know you fire. Just not they punk ass artificial kind. Oh, girl. Hear that lighter. They know you fire. And this bra tried to take your uh your spiritual gift. They she tried to take your clairvoyance and whoever I'm talking to, not because I'm cry clairvoyance. She tried to, this is clear, it's a word. She tried to take your clairvoyance. She knew whoever this is, this is a witch. Warlock is what they saying. You had a man. He's a predator. You have a very predatory dude, man. That's our own. That is still still sending you heat, and it's masked by this right here. Some female that wants your fire. They trying to give your shit away, and they don't go like that though. And then, then the next thing is, oh, whoever this is, this person is, they rock with Libra energy. So this person feel like he deserving, but it says love. You used to love this person. This is, this is more than one person that I'm talking about. I know I'm talking, I know I talk or referenced to, you know, to start off the reading with what happened with me, but I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about your person. You got somebody that you know that was part of your family that's sending you mad heat that's been comparing. Key. This person has been competing with you on an athletic level that you're not even aware of. And this person has stolen your energy to make them a better athlete is what I'm getting. And this is somebody you love, which is in reverse because you know you, you, you have a general idea. This person felt deserving. It says moon in Libra. So this person could have Libra in their chart and moon in Libra. But whoever it is, you love her, but it's in reverse. You know why? And if you look at this, if that if you put love right there in reverse, it's going to spell Evo, E-V-O-L. That's evolution revolving. But the person did it the other way. So say a clock go like this. You know what I mean? This person hit you with the love going that way. You cold-blooded freak motherfucker. 
It says, bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. This person didn't bring you peace. Didn't I tell you this person hit you with some shit? That I, they all going in reverse. It says, um, follow your dreams. This person was in your dreams bullshitting. Because this was re in reverse. I said you were struck. These hoes were striking you in your sleep regularly. On time. Each one of them, each one of them evil motherfuckers was switching off. And all of them was diving in your water so they can find out what your world and your universe was like for a star. You are a star. 24, 6. The last star message I got, it was a 6. But they wanted, they took the moon to get on your star. Like I told you, you were struck. All right? By your next deck or next on the third one. Smooth criminal. I got to shuffle this deck. I got to shuffle yours around before I go to the next one just to move this person's evil shit around. See what I'm saying? I'm a Gemini and I'm communicating this to you. And this is the next word in here. S snuck in. So they trying to say, they, they know I'm telling you. They know I'm telling you what they did. They know I'm telling you that they hit you with with the uh, with, uh, tower magic. They This person was watching you. That person had been watching you and they sending you evil energy. The, this person, this person has sent you electrical energy. This person lasered you, sent you electrical energy. Do you know how far into the spiritual realm you have to be to know how that works, where it works, where to shoot a bitch at and how hard to watch her? I'm getting sliver, but this is, a, this, this is, this is, this person, it says, Okay, mind you, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. And I picked this up before I can turn your card over. I do apologize, but this was the first card, though, I saw. And the second one is purple, though. A blessing on your intuition. Did not tell you it was purple. Your intuition, your clairvoyance, what they wanted. It says, a blessing for a mother. So whoever you are, you are a mother with antlers. Okay? So you tough because you got a point on your antlers. All right? So what did this person do, do for her? I was just led to this deck, y'all. Let me find out when he said a smooth criminal. A blessing for a mother. This person don't even respect a mama. Whew. Or a mama wouldn't need a fucking blessing. Smooth criminal. He does, but this person has even stolen from their mother. Mm. They want to steal your dreams and your intuition. So in other words, you came out after the nigga's mama did? Hold on, I'm listening, y'all. They said it's because you're a mother and to let you know that he steals from mothers. Even his own mama. I get it. The dude is a raccoon. He come out at night. Didn't I say smooth criminal? The cart, man, and y'all listen. The messages that I get when they connect them to this shit is so fucking, excuse me, funky fire. I wasn't gonna even going to say fuck it. I was going to say funky fire, but I couldn't get it out of my mouth. And another thing, too, I'm trying to be cognizant of not cursing so much. So look at it. This is a raccoon that hit you here, here, and here. That means he hit you on both feet and on the, on, uh, and, and, pardon me, both feet and your sacred region. Also, this means both eyes and your nose. So he ear, nose, and throated the shit out of you. All right, guys, I think this is going to hang up. So I got a little, a few more minutes left, I think. And then it says, it says, you, what does it say on this phone? You, your battery. Oh, my battery. Okay, my battery, you ain't going. But it's all to the gravy. Anyway, so yeah, that's your message, okay? So whoever you are, you need to put some like stones or crystals and lay down back with some crystals on your eyes. That's going to be where your hips are. This person is, it says, blessing on your intuition. <clears throat> Another crystal belongs. See how she got in the middle of her hand? Remember remember the last one? The hand is the top of your head. So you also need to not just sit them in your hand. You can put like a crystal on top of your head and put a scarf on, you know, and kind of, you know, I don't know, you know, hold it down on the, like, put the crystal attack. I don't know, something to hold it down and, or just, you know, wrap it up and just kind of lay there or whatever, chill for the day and just put it on top of your crown chakra. All right. This person wanted you in so bad of a turmoil. 
this person stole energy from your kids, whoever you are. Oh my God. This person be stealing energy from kids. I'm sorry for that. I don't have children. They've already dumped, been all up in my shit. And I lost my, uh, my twins um, by a, a serpent that came through my window. I could feel it. You know, I, I but at that time I was young. I was only 27 or 8. I didn't realize that I, but I just knew I, you know, you know when you feel like something went in your leg. I was pregnant with twins and a serpent. Literally, I could I I was laying in the bed, but I didn't realize I was clairvoyant. I could see by me laying in the bed with I was asleep. But when you sleep, you you go into the spiritual realm. But I saw it come through my, you know, I'm asleep laying in my bed, but I can see it with my eyes closed coming through my window. That wasn't very far from my bed, slithered on the floor, got up in the bed from coming from, you know, the, where your feet are and slid up into my thigh. Do y'all know? Not even probably the next day or a day or two later, me and, and, uh, my kids, my, my, um, the, the, I was going to say newborns, my, you know, babies that were in my womb, me and the father of my two, my twins, Got all into it. It was like some fictitious stuff. I think I mentioned it before. So they do shit. And this person steals energy from your kids. Mm. It's, this is in reverse. It says a blessing for the right words. You don't need to know. You don't have. You don't. You don't need a blessing for the right shit to say. You already know truth is the power. Straight up to the top of the dome piece, right in the middle where I'm telling you, go to your crown chakra. That's what you're using now. Oh, wow. So this person's pissed off that you've been, you'll cuss their ass out and you know. Mm, a blessing of forgiveness. Oh, wow. You one of the ones who've been listening to the messages where this person's been sending you like little shooting love songs through your mind. I'm talking about this war ain't over. You almost done. The only thing good for you is because you got children. Well, you know what? All these blessings are coming to you. You, your kids are getting ready to get their energy back right, okay? Um, you ain't forgiving shit because you ain't forgetting nothing, never. You'll never forgive this. Fuck what the people be saying on that. Forgive or forget. You will later on. Right now, you just rocking with how you can just be strong for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And technically, sort of, kind of, yeah, you do forgive or you know you are because you're a forgiving person. But right now, you know strength is your power. And the more you stay focused on saying, fuck these motherfuckers, even if you're, you're a person that don't even like to cuss. But when it comes to that, you find yourself saying, because that's a nasty ass energy trying to take the blessing of a mother away with a bitch made self. No, baby girl. You on point, you a mother, you know what to tell your kids what the fuck to do. No matter what this thing, a person or whatever done to your mind, they ran energy up your goddamn leg, pushed it up in your asshole, pulled your, your squalls you in, so they energy, you had a heavy fucking hex, you hear me? Just as if not heavier than this person right here who had, who's been struck by a criminal. This is the smooth criminal. This motherfucker's stealing smooth from your kids, smooth from you. Whoever you are, this bitch lays in your bed is what I'm hearing. And he's living in your house. If this person ain't laying in your bed, they living in your house. You see how the moon is, is going this way? And how your titties and shit sagging? And you wonder why your titties is sagging. You getting frail and skinny. And why your face is sucking the fuck in. But I want you to turn around and look at the palm of that motherfucker's hands and watch how thick they are. And after you look how thick and how that bitch made nigga's hands are thicker... Look at the pussy niggas' his feet. And then turn around and look at the butt he got that you was, oh, you, uh, that's your ass you looking at? That's why his ass look better. And you starting to fall back. You got a bitch made ass partner who want what you got. And he's over there, Illuminati style, sucking his life out, you, out of you, out your ass is what I'm hearing. But out of you, you are beautiful. Don't get sucked in. And be looking for the right words to say. You need to mouth the fuck up right now. Because you, you, you got it in you. You just don't know that it's this person. That's how they do it. I said a smooth criminal. You heard me? Right on then. Because ain't nobody saying nothing. And ain't no qualms about it. 
All right, guys. I am Lady Cry Baby, the Empath Empress, and you are listening to Cry Clairvoyance, Cry Tarot. Don't forget about the commercial break message that we had, okay, y'all? And much love to y'all. Peace, Oscar Nice. And just make sure you know that those freckles on Annie's face, on the Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Those freckles are them people that are on your cheeks, okay? That song ain't called Annie, are you okay? You've been hit by a smooth criminal for no reason. Add this shit up, all right? Oh, a lot of these songs, a lot of these commercials and TVs are talking about spiritual warfare. That's why you enjoy them. Uh, and, 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 and all that shit until you got hit with this bullshit. And now you're like, okay, you know what? All oh, this shit's demonic. Fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, guess what? Don't say fuck me, okay? Because I love you. Or well, I wouldn't be here telling you what the Lord wants you to know, all right? So if you like what you heard, like, share, and subscribe. List me is what I call it. Like, share, subscribe. Lady Crybaby, peace. Oscar Nice.